To another vlog I'm currently getting ready and I thought I'd film makeup routine because it has been years and tonight I'm going to Amelia's and we're doing some Galentine's Day content so we're having like a super girly night and we're cooking pasta we're having wine and so I'm getting ready to go over to Amelia's now and I was like let's have a little chit chat get ready with me vlog today honestly the most important part of my makeup routine is my base what I've primed my face with and what I've got on my skin really dictates how my makeup turns out so I want to show you the products that I'm using at the moment because remember I was telling you that I was really unhappy with my skin I was suffering from dermatitis around my nose and I did that 10 day detox by the organic pharmacy and it really helped to clear my skin. I obviously did dry January as well, which massively helped. Ooh, cutting down on alcohol, I cut down on sugars and I'm like finally confident with my skin again. Like my skin is back to how it usually is. I still have like a little bit of work to do, but I feel like me again. So I want to show you what I've been using. I've really, really stripped it back. I've kept it so simple to cleanse i either use the elemis pro collagen cleansing balm you probably all know what that is or the sarah chapman balmy cleanser i'll leave them all in the description they're super nourishing and they don't strip your skin so i'm loving those two and then for base the ren dark circle eye cream or I've been using this Tata Harper Boosted Contouring Eye Balm. When I had my facial the other week, the lady told me that this contains beeswax. And it's like a really thick, balmy texture. And it just sits really beautifully under your eyes. And it sits well under makeup as well. Both of these products do. Then these two products I'm obsessed with. They're by Shanti Darden. Now, I've newly been introduced to this brand. And... I'm completely obsessed with the products. I'm like, why have I not tried them sooner? So I firstly use the Moisture Boost Plumping Serum. Then on top, I do the Hydration Peptide Cream. This is to moisturize, plump, and replenish. So these two together have made my skin look like this. Now they don't contain SPF, so you should mix some SPF in there. I love the Sarah Chapman one. Usually I do that if it's daytime, but it's evening now and I'm staying inside, so skip the SPF. Let's clip this hair back. For base, I'm gonna do this Valentino combination. One is like super illuminating and this one is the foundation. I just take a tiny bit on the tip of my fingers and I kind of just put them on all the high points of my face, down my nose, a little bit on my chin anywhere where i just want to add a little bit of like light reflecting foundation i just pop a pump on the back of my hand so i'm obviously so happy that i got my instagram account back i think you can see my other vlog the relief that i had when it was back up and running and it may seem dramatic to some people like it's just an instagram account but that is my career and so the thought of having to start again was really daunting and really, really overwhelming. And since then, I've had so many people messaging me saying that a similar thing has happened to them. Instagram just shut their account down. They said that they were impersonating someone else. So I feel like it's actually a real problem that's happening with Instagram at the moment. And so it's really made me think of like, what else can I do that's nothing to do with social media, just in case this whole thing ever just like completely crashes down. Cause that kind of gave me a little glimpse of like how disposable I am as a content creator, like how disposable my career is. And that was really scary. I love this foundation by the way. It's like lightweight texture. It gives you a good amount of coverage, but you can still kind of see like your freckles underneath. And mixed in with this base, it just makes your skin really, really nice and glowy. So in summer when I've got a tan, I never wear foundation. Just feel like my skin always looks so much better. But in winter, especially in London, just feel like I look a little bit unwell. I have like zero colour in my skin right now. I'm just using this Charlotte Tilbury concealer. This is like an orange base concealer just to cancel out any darkness around my eyes. This is really good for spot concealing as well. I sometimes put a little bit around my nose just because I still do kind of get a bit of redness there. I actually can't even read the shade of this because it's so battered, but I will put everything in the description box below. Concealer, I use this Bobbi Brown one. This is the Skin Full Cover Concealer. 
So I have noticed as I've got older, I cannot wear as much concealer under my eyes because it creases and it looks so bad. It honestly ages me. So at this point in life, less is more. And I'd rather have a little bit of darkness under my eyes creeping through than a super creased under eye because I just think there's nothing worse. Then I use a really light powder to set under my eyes and I try not to put too much powder on either because that also contributes to creasing. I know a lot of you will relate to this but I only noticed lines under my eyes in like the last year and a half. All of a sudden they've just creeped in and I look in the mirror and I'm like they were not there a minute ago. How have they so quickly cemented themselves in my face? And I know it's not a bad thing to get older. This is the Merit Bronze Stick, by the way. It's incredible. But it is kind of crazy when you see your face changing so much and so quickly. I put this everywhere that I'd put bronzer. So under my jawline, on my chin, always bend it down my neck, a little bit on my eyelids, forehead. I'm really loving a creamy bronzer. I just think it adds to that like soft glowy makeup look and i do think more mature skin lends itself so much better to cream products rather than powdery products i'm wondering if these merit bronzer sticks come in different shades i'm sure they do let's do blush this is the westman atelier cream blush in petal and yes i use the same brush for everything this is the prettiest pink always bring it on the bridge of my nose and it pairs perfectly with the charlotte tilbury liquid gasm highlight i think this is in the color pillow talk next eyebrows i have been loving this brow wand by iconic london you're supposed to brush your brows backwards first the only thing is it's really small so i don't know how long it's gonna last and then you go in and you shape them and they should perfectly stay in place I have this freckle here that gets a little bit covered up with concealer sometimes so I kind of just put that back in. Tiny bit of bronzer in my crease. This is from the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk palette. I really hope you guys are enjoying our Wearing My Money podcast by the way because Amelia and I have so much fun filming them and we put so much work and effort into them and we really really love it so we hope you're enjoying them as much as we're enjoying filming them let's talk about the fact that dry january is over i did have a big blowout last saturday because it was a really good friend's 30th birthday so i couldn't not drink and i definitely made up for lost time but i felt so terrible on sunday that it made me realize i actually don't want to drink anymore iconic london mascara is so good i wanted to show you how great this mascara is i think it's a combination of the really thin wand and obviously the formula but it just i love it it's so good i do use a lash serum by the way i use the uk lash serum not all the time you kind of have to use it until your lashes get really long and then you take breaks so now i just use it every now and again just to keep them nice and long and full. Got sidetracked, I was talking about dry jan. This <laughs> lip pencil is well by MAC. So yeah, I realized that as much as I love a drink, I hate the way it makes me feel and I'm so unproductive the next day. I'm definitely gonna enjoy a glass of wine with dinner or if I'm out with friends, I'll have one or two glasses of wine, but I'm gonna know my limits from now on. This is my go-to lip liner. It's just slightly darker than my lips. Then today I'm gonna to go in with Charlotte Tilbury's lipstick in Penelope Pink. This is very nude. Kind of just like dot it in the center and then blend it out with my fingers. Let's do a little gloss because I do find lipstick a little bit drying. This is the Dior Lip Maximizer. This feels like silk on your lips, it's so nice. And then hair, I've gone for a kind of like straight blowout look today we need to do a little bit of work on this fringe and this is my current everyday makeup it's pretty natural glam i guess you could say i'm very big on skin so i spend a lot of time on the way that my skin looks and then i just do a really simple eye just a little brown in the crease to add a bit of a shadow and then great mascara dark nude lip brush through the brows and that is it now i need to find an outfit to wear to galentine's night with amelia i think she's wearing like a black sleeper set so i kind of need something that matches with that so i'm gonna go and get ready just got to amelia's and i remembered i had this little sleeper set to match mills's outfit but mine is like a tighter version it's kind of like a jersey fabric and i've got my very oversized heart earrings on for valentine's day 
and my Ugg slippers. And then I have the mini version. <laughs> I might need to take my slippers off. A little bit too tall. Oh, we're matching. I love this it. It's a very cute little outfit. And this is the setup for the evening. We are Yay. cooking vongole and we're podcasting. One, Hi. two, three. Hello. Welcome to our Where Am My Money podcast. How cute are our little mini mics? Oh, they're so cute. We tested the sound and they, they sound good, don't they? Yeah. So we're really excited. Look at us professionals. I know. Very proud of us. In honour of it being Valentine's Day, we thought we'd do a little bonus podcast and we are going to be cooking our favourite meal. Uh, we're going to be making vongole. Vongole. Yes, but it is a bit more fun <laughs> saying vongole, isn't it? From our favourite restaurant, I'm Chaconis. So uh, we're having a date night at home. We're doing Valentine's night. It's a Saturday mm -hmm. and we're in our pyjamas. We need wine. Let's pour the wine. wine. First things first. First things first. Red or white? I fancy red. We go for a red wine? Yeah. I'm more of a red girl, but I yeah. feel like white wine does go with the pasta yeah, more. Yeah, it does. But you know what? Rules are made to be broken, honey. And if you want red wine, I'm going to have red wine. wine. Oh, wow. That is a <laughs> large that glass. A... Cheers, honey. <laughs> Cheers. Honey. We're cooking. We've just done a little interlude in the podcast while we get everything going. We've got the phone on the roof. This is what's going on up there. Oh, hi guys. <laughs> oh, I should take a picture of us. This is what's going on down here. We've got the tomatoes chopped. The clams are ready. Flavour some garnishes. <laughs> This is the gluten free pasta, by the way, mm. which Amelia's gluten free, I am not. It's and I so cannot good. tell the difference. It's can expensive, it but expensive. it's worth yeah, it. I really can't tell the difference. It's fantastic. Hey, we are back, and everything is going smoothly. The pasta's on the go, the, the clams are done. Mm. And now we're just doing the flavoursome. Heart. This is the this is where the flavour comes in. Yeah. I'm very excited for it. This is how it's going so far. Sensational. I can't wait to put this in my mouth. So we've eaten the pasta. We went back for seconds. Of course. And now dessert. Mm -hmm. We're having cookies. Oh, she's sprinkling some sea salt. These are dark chocolate and caramel. And these are matcha and white chocolate. <laughs> this is the brand. Have you tried them? They're mochis. They're mochis. No, I haven't. They're like got cookie dough around them. No way. Yeah. Where can we get them? They're in Whole Foods. Walking distance. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. I had such a cute night with Amelia last night. We had loads of fun filming our bonus podcast episode for Valentine's Day. Loads of pasta, loads of wine, and maybe a couple of cookies in there as well. So we're heading off on a walk this morning. We're gonna shoot some content, and I want to show you what I was wearing. I also just got a really exciting delivery. I got this Pauline bag that I've been waiting for to arrive, and I think it's gonna go perfectly with what I'm wearing today. So perfect, perfect timing. So let me pop you up on here and show you what I'm wearing. So I've got my chocolate brown aviator style leather jacket on from Massimo Duty. This is the one that has the removable shearling collar. Just popped a white t-shirt on underneath. Chunky gold jewellery. This bangle is from Saint Laurent. How unreal is that? It is so chunky and so heavy. I mainly got it for evenings. Like imagine if I'm wearing a long sleeve, like long tight dress. Very like YSL vibes. High neck and then you've just got big chunky gold jewelry on with it. That's mainly what I got it for, but I couldn't resist wearing it as well today. And I've just paired it with some black tailored trousers and my Adidas Sambas. I'm also kind of into my straight hair at the moment. I mean, it looks better yesterday when it's like freshly blow dried because second day, I just feel like it goes a little bit flat and lifeless, but we're working with it. So Pauline delivery, I have already unboxed it. I unboxed it on my TikTok channel. So they come like this. Then I had a couple of unexpected things in the box along with the bag. And one of them was this little like card holder. And I was like, what's this? Like, I didn't know that I was being sent this. And I realized they've put a little thank you note inside of here. 
This was gifted, by the way, very, very, very kindly. I've had my eye on Pauline bags for so long. So when they reached out and said that they wanted to send me a bag, I was like, <gasps> pinch me moment and on the back of my note it says as part of our upcycling mission this envelope was made using our leather offcuts so I really really love that idea it's so lovely inside I think this would be really nice to keep like your business cards in or any kind of like loose receipts that you have it's just a really great little thing to have in your handbag then I had another box and they've sent me a little like coin purse. The kind of vibe I'm getting from this is one of those old school diaries, like the leather notebooks that had the string that ties around the book. It's got this gold toggle that you can pull open that then opens the little purse up and you can put cards in it, you can put some coins in it. So I just thought that was really, really sweet and I love this color of leather as well. I had such a tough time choosing what bag to go for because I love them all, but I wanted to get something a little bit different. So I went for their classic Pauline style bag, but in shearling. And I've seen loads of shearling bags over the past few years and I've always gravitated towards them i've always wanted one but i've just never invested in it so when i saw this i was like that's that is the one it's meant to be it's such a beautiful soft shearling i love the leather straps so that you can also wear it as a crossbody attention to detail it has adjustable straps then this design feature of the pauline bags i love to undo the bag it's a clasp that like slides i just think that's really cool and i do believe if you wanted to use this as a little clutch bag i think you can just untie the leather straps here and take that out it's super versatile you can wear it during the day or you can wear it in the evening it's obviously a seasonal bag it's an autumn winter bag but i just thought it was really cool and beautiful so you can either wear it on your arm like this or today i'm gonna go a bit more casual and have it like a cross body and i thought this jacket goes perfectly because of the shearling collar that i have shearling bag chunky gold details which goes with the gold hardware on the bag and then my Adidas Sambas to pick up the lighter colours of the bag. And to go with the retro look that I've got going on, I'm going to do my aviator sunglasses. I'm feeling very 70s vibes today. New bag. Love it. Adidas Sambas, can't go wrong. Good morning, guys. It is Monday. I'm getting ready. I just have to tell you about this dry hair shampoo because... I just got back from the gym. I do not have time slash cannot be bothered to wash style my hair. So I just put some dry hair shampoo in and this is the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Advanced Clean Dry Shampoo. The best dry hair shampoo. It has just run out, sadly. So I've swapped to my Batiste one. But what I've noticed about the Living Proof one, it doesn't come out white. Sometimes I find with the Batiste one, oh my goodness, that is bright. Sometimes I find with the Batiste one, it literally comes out like a white powder on my hair and then it makes my hair look kind of grey. Don't get that with the Living Proof one. So I love this. I'm really upset that it's run out, so I need to top up on that. This morning, I'm getting ready to film two podcast episodes. Amelia and I are filming episode four and five today. So Saturday night, we filmed our bonus episode, which was like a Valentine's Day special. And today's podcast is all about handbags. And the one we're filming after that is all about like Insta versus reality. But that's what we're doing this morning. So I'm getting ready for that now. My hair is looking kind of dry. I'm going to pop some hair oil in it. This is the Beauty Pie Super Healthy Hair. I really like this hair oil. My hair's quite good at taking oil because it is super dry. So putting oil in my hair when it's dry it doesn't make it greasy. I think I'm just going to go for like a undone sort of straight sleek look my lip combo by the way because i feel like it looks extra good today mac well lip liner with a tiny bit of charlotte tilbury's penelope pink in the center i need to top up on this as well and then because my lips get super dry and i hate the feeling of dry lips i've just gone in with like a lip oil this one's by kaya again almost empty fragrance today i think i'll go for joe malone's pomegranate noir jewelry i'm gonna do my little cartier watch with this outfit i'll go for my shell ring from ibiza my cartier ring back on i normally never take my cartier ring off same with my bangle but when i go to the gym where i'm lifting weights i don't want it to scratch the hardware so i usually take it off do i want to stack with my monica Veneda ring 
It might be a bit too much today. I actually don't like that combination either. I think we just stick with simple today. Let me show you my outfit. I've gone for a white oversized shirt with like a knitted layered skirt. Love this skirt. And then I thought because this looks a little bit summery, I'm gonna throw a jumper on over my shoulders. You kind of leave the hair tucked in like a little like messy, undone sort of vibe. I've got my Ugg slippers on because obviously we film inside so I'm not going to be putting shoes on. The shirt and the skirt are both from Zara and this jumper is super soft. It's from a brand called the Odder, Odder Side. It's like O-D-D-E-R. I think they're a Polish based brand but they sent me these jumpers years and years ago. I'm talking like five years I've had these and they wash really well. They are super soft. And I just love the shape of them. So this is the look. What do you guys think? I mean, I'm gonna be sitting down as well, so I feel like it would look quite cute. I need to pick out a few bags because this episode, like I said, is all about handbags. We're gonna do like our best and worst purchases. So I'm just kind of like looking through my collection now and deciding what ones I wanna talk about today. This is my bag wardrobe. I've got my sunglasses and then like clutch bags up there bigger bags up there and then hats and scarves up there. It's a little bit of a organized mess. <laughs> this Dior saddle bag is one of my all time favorite bags. I just love the color, I love the shape of it. I think it's really like cool and retro and I thought it would go out of style really quickly but it actually hasn't so that was a really good purchase. My second favorite bag is a very similar shape. This is the Louis Vuitton loop bag. I just always gravitate towards using this bag. It comes with a longer strap as well. It just sits super comfortably on my shoulder. It's the perfect size. I wear it daytime, nighttime. It's a great holiday bag and it's really nice and flat so it fits in the suitcase well. Then I would say my green Bottega Jodie bag. I do really love this for the summer and for holidays. That is actually my favourite holiday bag. But make sure you tune in to the podcast because we'll be discussing way more about handbags in that. The fourth episode about bags has been filmed and there is utter chaos of handbags around us. I need to just show you what's going on here. We've got all the handbags here, more bags here and here and here. <laughs> and this is our little setup. So one podcast down. An hour long of chatting, absolute bags <laughs> <laughs> and Amelia's editing this one so good luck yes, sweetie I've got this and the bonus one to edit oh god I can help you with that one though so we're gonna do a little <laughs> spoken so much <laughs> like blah 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 I feel like we need to have lunch first we'll have a little reset and then do our content for episode four we're doing a quick hair and makeup change for the next podcast I've gone for a slick Button and I'm just getting rid of all these little flyaways. I'm using the Hershison's Almost Everything Cream. I prefer using that than like a hairspray or a gel just because it leaves my hair really soft. It doesn't make it hard or crispy. So you still get a little bit of movement and it doesn't look like it's proper like slicked down to your head. I don't love having my hair up so I hope I'm not gonna regret that decision. I'm feeling so much happier and positive this week. I feel like I really needed a fresh week to get my head straight because while that whole Instagram thing was happening, I was just super unproductive. I just felt like things were a little bit up in the air. I felt really discouraged from creating content and today I've woken up feeling so much better. Like I'm so ready to get back into creating content. I feel happier and I do think with having a career in social media, if you're not feeling great, it's virtually impossible to create content because you just can't hide the bad energy or the bad day that you're having and it really comes across in the content and I'm never happy with the content that I put out when I'm feeling in one of those moods it just doesn't give very much this is outfit number two of the day and yes I put my hair down I knew I'd regret tying it up I don't know why I do that I just I feel so much better with it down I'm wearing my bash jacket and then underneath I have this two piece. This is from a brand called Significant Other and I love it. I love the color, the fit, the style. These trousers I have worn before. I've not worn the matching top yet. 
because it's been a little bit cold in London. But I actually think with the bass jacket over the top, it looks really nice. They're like a flared, loose fit trouser. The perfect length. I love how they're wide at the leg. I think this is a super flattering shape. Of course, I still have my Ugg slippers on. So this is look number two. It is Sunday and I've decided to cook a little roast dinner. I've got my friend coming over later and I thought, let me get my housewife vibes on. So I've bought a whole chicken. I've just seasoned it, chopping my carrots and my parsnips. And this morning I've just spent the whole day editing stuff, planning content. So I'm looking forward to relaxing a little bit later. After I've had dinner, I think I'm gonna do like a little pamper evening and have a really good early night and a great sleep. This is the setup I've got going on. I'm tuning into the podcast. This is actually Amelia's vlog. She's got a little podcast preview in it. So yeah, I'm just like cooking, watching the podcast. And yeah, just having a little day at home doing some life admin and editing. Chicken is going in the oven. Okay, I've got my pyjamas on. These are my PJs from All Saints. I got them on the press trip that I did. Remember when I went to Wilderness with them? These were in the goodie bags and I love them. They feel like so luxurious and comfortable. I'm gonna take my makeup off. I'm gonna do a bit of a pamper tonight because I feel like I've just had the busiest week. It's been non-stop. I felt a little bit stressed and I haven't really done my nice like pamper routine that I would do most nights. So I'm gonna do that tonight. Taking my makeup off, two products that I really love to do this, the Elemis Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm, which is what I'm gonna to use tonight. It's practically empty. And I usually double cleanse, so I'll follow up with the Sarah Chapman Ultimate Cleanse. This is empty. I did just fish this out from the bin to show you. I think I have a backup one somewhere. And I'm gonna use these little fluffy cuffs because they stop the water from running down your arms. And is there a worse feeling? I love a cleansing balm because it just melts away your makeup. It doesn't tug at your skin. It literally just glides over your skin. There's no tugging. They're also super hydrating. And this one smells divine. These are the little Tata Harper face cloths that I showed you in my last vlog. They're so great for just removing all traces of product. And now before I double cleanse, I'm gonna do a facial massage. This is the Foray Bear 2. It sends electric currents through your face, which sounds really scary, but it's not. It doesn't hurt at all. It's supposed to tighten your facial muscles and also give you like a lymphatic drainage massage. A bit like what a gua sha would do, except these little balls hold electric currents, which does all the work for you. You do have to apply the serum that comes with it. You can't just use any serum. You have to use this one. I'm not entirely sure of that reason. I think it just has ingredients in it that help to activate the electric currents. So I start with one side of my face, turn the device on, it's got different settings, one being the lowest currency and five being the highest. And now it's turned on, it's gonna start vibrating. And Foro do have an app, and they have tutorials on the app that you can follow, which is really handy if you're new and you don't really know what you're doing or what kind of technique you're supposed to be using. But this whole process takes three minutes. So I used to do this in the morning when I was a little bit more organized than I am now. I haven't done it for a while and I do really notice the difference. Like it does make you look more snatched. It is totally painless. Sometimes my skin is more sensitive than other times so I do have to turn it down occasionally. If you've got any blemishes and you go over your blemishes that's when you kind of feel like a little twinge so you can just turn it down but it should be painless. I always go up. Did you see my eye twitching then? It does make your muscles twitch because it's like pulling them to strengthen them. So I go over my smile lines and up along my cheekbone. The eye is twitching again. And I do each movement five times. And then I go in my cheekbone crevice. And then on top of my brow bone and I kind of pull my eyebrow up. I also love how this is just like three minutes to switch off and just give yourself a little bit of a pamper. 
it's not very often I take three minutes to just do nothing. Even when I'm brushing my teeth, I'm like checking my phone, my emails, I'm getting my clothes out, ready to go. Whereas this, I really do just stand here and just massage my face and it's lovely. One more cleanse, I'm gonna use the Rome Revitalizing Cleanser. This is a new product from Rome. I do use their Active Recovery Broth and I love that product. I'm gonna be using that after cleansing. This cleanse is more of a creamy consistency. And what I'm trying to do with my skin, I did mention earlier in my vlog that I had a bit of dermatitis and redness around my nose. So I'm trying to use really natural products that aren't gonna strip my skin and irritate it. Also, I feel like this brand has nailed the aesthetics. My evening skincare products are a little bit different from my morning ones. For the evening, I use the Medic 8 Crystal Retinol Ceramide Eye Cream. It's supposed to make your under eyes visibly brighter, smoother, and more youthful looking. So I'm hoping that's what's happening. I also don't use this product every night because it does have retinol in it. I alternate between this one, Sarah Chapman Eye Cream, which I've also run out of, the Tata Harper Boosted Contouring Eye Balm that I showed you in my makeup routine, or I also use the Ren one. In fact, I might even put the Tata Harper Balm on top of the retinol one. But while that sinks in, I'm gonna go in with the Rome Active Recovery Broth. This is like a serum consistency and it's got loads of biofermented ingredients in it, so it's super natural. I just massage this all over my face. Then for my neck, just because I love a product, I use the Tata Harper Rejuvenating Serum. This is an age defense serum. And we all know your neck is one of the first things that shows age. And I've definitely noticed a couple of lines appearing on my neck. So let's try and preserve a youthful neck. Bring that down to my chest as well. Right, what else can we put on my face? The Petro Simone Fierce Oil. I love this stuff. It's a super luxurious face oil. It's very thick. You only need a couple of drops. Rub it between the palms of my hands. And I just pat this on my face. Any leftovers on my neck, on my chest. Let's put this Tata Harper eye balm on. And now I don't do this every night, but seeing as we're having a pamper night, I'm gonna use this eye roller that I got from my Elemis unboxing. And remember I showed you that the ball on this actually spins round. So, oh wow, I've really been looking forward to using this. And it's cold, I haven't even kept it in the fridge. But because it's metal, it just kind of stays cold. This pressure point here in your eye, if you just stay there for a second, it feels so good. I think if you suffer from headaches or you're stressed, and that is it. Like I said, I'm trying to keep it pretty simple with my skincare. Let's take these off. I'm going to go and make myself a bodyism hot chocolate mushroom blend, and I'm going to watch Griselda on Netflix. Have you guys started watching it yet? Because... I am hooked, I'm so obsessed with it, and because it has Spanish subtitles, I really have to concentrate. I can't go on my phone, I can't get distracted, so it makes me get really into it. So I'm gonna watch one episode, which is an hour, and then I'm gonna get into bed. I'm gonna leave this vlog here. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so, so much for watching. If you haven't already checked out the Wearing My Money podcast, please do. We talk about all kinds of things fashion. We have our Galentine's Day episode coming out on Tuesday, the 13th of February. And I think it's gonna be really fun. So I'll leave the link to the podcast below. If you haven't already, please do subscribe, follow me on Instagram, and TikTok, all of that. And I'll see you in the next vlog.